from was nearly assassinated uh, a few days ago. Isn't that something? So, let's uh, talk about that. Well, actually, I don't want to talk about Trump being nearly assassinated. I want to talk about the drama that's been surrounding it. Uh, I'm sh like, Trump being nearly assassinated is terrifying. Like, he's a very likely to become the president, right? And he nearly gets assassinated. That'd be what, like, the sixth, seventh? Like, seventh uh, president or president to be to be assassinated? Um, uh, let's talk about what's surrounding the situation. For some reason, the FBI decided, hey, we're janitors now, and decided to be on house cleaning duty. Look at that, they're cleaning up the evidence. <laughs> because, why? Why are they doing that? That's not part of their job, believe it or not. In fact, that's, that they shouldn't be doing that at all. Uh, people say they saw somebody on the I building. I can. We can see the guy down. I think they hit him because the guy is he looks dead. The the shooter on the building multiple minutes before the shooter fired. That's surprising. And they said they pointed, talked about him. But uh he still got to shoot off. The apparently he was has ties to BlackRock. That's another surprising point. Uh, people on Twitter are considering this a stage stop, you know, the left side, because, of course, having staging somebody shooting maybe two millimeters from your brain is a totally normal, rational thing to do to gain popularity. It's not like he could have just, like, staged it to be an arm shot, something that they likely wouldn't be covering, that wouldn't cover the brain matter over the floor. Something that he could likely properly stage. Something that isn't completely down to luck on whether he survives or not. With that, with that being completely rubbish, no, there's no fucking way he staged this. Uh, let's look at the photo. Donald Trump here looks pretty damn hardcore, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the hardest photo he's had to date. Remember that mugshot? Doesn't even come close to this. This is actually going to likely win him the presidency. I'm just going to be honest. The pro photo photographer who took this photo, by the way, probably going to be a pull of surprise. Meme after meme is made with it. Like, a lot of memes if you scroll through Twitter. Uh, and a firefighter died. Not only did that firefighter die, he doesn't even get the grace of being respected in death after he saved his family. People had the gall to mock him for dying. Like, I'm going to focus on a specific person. A man who has gone off the extreme deep end. His name is Destiny. You should know him. Is pretty well known. Destiny, pretty well known. He has Trump derangement syndrome. Very weird guy. Listen to this clip. Fuck it. Fuck the dude. Um, the firefighter guy, uh, fuck Trump, fuck the people that support him. I just want you to know, okay, just in case you're confused or it seems like I'm, uh, you don't, whatever. If one of you were in the crowd and you're a conservative fan of mine and you end up, you know, getting blown away or whatever the fuck, I'm making fun of you the next day on Twitter. I am 100. What a fucking jackass, am I right? An unreasonable piece of shit, an ungodly piece of shit. This clip is utterly insane. He's acting like his, okay. He's willingly disparaging his own fan base if they so much as vote for conservative. You can't even be a viewer of him if you are conser if you are conservative. He doesn't want you to be. If you were there and died, he wouldn't care. He wouldn't give a shit. Fuck you. That's what he'd think. That like like that's completely fucking that's that's absurd. He's a cuck, he's a loser, and above all else, he's becoming quickly irrelevant. This type of shit is not good for the soul. This type of shit is nonsense. This type of shit is what gets you uh, the platform. I'm ready for the fucking, um, the great cleansing, dude. Cleansing? The cleansing. What cleansing? When we genocide conservatives in this country. Are you gonna be on the streets with your Glock? Maybe. I gotta go back to Nebraska and grab it. This is how you know you're on the complete extreme deep end. You start talking about cleansings and you're ready for them and you're going to participate in them.
That is abnormal behavior. And that's not even the worst of it. He's also a child pornography supporter. What about, what about child pornography? That's kind of a different thing. Um, there's like moral versus pragmatic sides of that. I've seen a little bit of evidence on the pragmatic side, and it, it seems like an, uh, like an okay thing. I probably shouldn't say that, or it sounds... Yeah, you probably shouldn't say that. Nobody says that if they don't believe in it. If they don't believe in it, they're not going to say that. that. It's not even for trolling purposes. That type of shit is ne a no-go. You should be thinking about what you say when you do that type of stuff online. Destiny, not the greatest of guys. I mean, let's look at this. Oh. You you genuinely do hate conservatives, don't you? Very much so. Like I'm, I, like I've moved full on to like the political violence level or the real violence level when it comes to conservative people. Yeah, I think they need to be like excised from my fucking country. I think they are demonstrably fucking evil people by any moral system that most people would use. And then I just hate them because they tend to destroy the outcomes related to this country, which is what I'm concerned with. Yeah, absolutely. Oh uh, yeah, that's a topic I'm not yet sort of ready to touch. I'm surprised he said all that with a straight face, and just look at how awkward he made that other guy. That other guy genuinely didn't know what to say. That was completely out of his league. He just, he was just fumbling at that point, because oh, what the fuck? You, you could tell by the pause before he starts speaking, it's like, did he really just say that? Yep, yep he did. Destiny genuinely just said that. That is, ooh, it's, it's ironic. I want them completely excised from my country because they are demonic people. <laughs> so he mocks the dead, he belittles his own supporters, he starts talking about he wants a genocide, he wants a cleansing, and he wants uh, them excised from his country while he supports child pornography. Did, you, uh, did I tell you this guy has a son? Yeah, he has a kid. This guy genuinely has a child and he never interacts with him. It's like a once a year thing that he does. The child's name is Nathan and what a poor son of a bitch that motherfucker is because holy shit he is a son of a complete bastard. And with that being said, does anyone genuinely support Destiny? Probably, uh, probably not. If you have a moral inclination you should not be supporting this type of behavior. He belittles a firefighter for saving the lives of, uh, for trying to save the lives of his family because he was a Trump supporter, or he was at a rally for Trump. You know, the Trump assassination rally you were talking about. That is... that is... sickening. It is genuinely sickening. It's unprofessional, it's disgraceful, and above all else, it is completely absurd. If Destiny, uh, Destiny did get kicked from quick Twitch, uh, no, not Twitch, from kick for these comments, deserved, um, so... Maybe all's getting better in the world because holy shit, these types of opinions should not be memorable whatsoever. They should not be even talked about. You genuinely should not be talking about these types of things like that. Like, that is, uh, you are a problem with, uh, with this. If you are reaching out to people like this, you are a problem, a genuine problem, and that is pretty much all I have to say on the matter. Uh, yeah, Destiny's a horrible person and respect the dead. Hey, waiting to get right, only leave you left behind. Up goes the early bird, soaring down. Scrounge around for whatever words might be obtainable. Never knew who flew about this first. So what's available? Not a lot, it seems. What you gonna do for it? Anything I means? Type of dedication you gotta have as you're blazing the path. Never know who's trailing you, hoping to get familiar with the ways and the things that we do. Bought hard and whole.